Salmon is the most popularly eaten fish in Australia, with almost 40,000 tonnes consumed every year. They are farmed offshore in underwater cages, primarily in bays on the south and west coasts of Tasmania due to the cooler waters. Each cage can hold up to 60,000 fish, transferred from the inland hatchery at 12 to 18 months of age. As they grow, their space within the cages decreases until they are packed tightly together. A 2017 study on farmed salmon in Australia, Norway, Chile, Scotland and Canada found that about half of the fish in these farms are deaf as a result of accelerated growth rates deforming their sound receptors. The World Heritage Macquarie Harbour on Tasmania's west coast is home to the largest concentration of fish farms in the country, with the salmon industry's three key players, Tassel, Huon and Petuna, all owning several farms comprising up to two dozen cages. In the one year period to September 2016, over 21,000 tonnes of uneaten fish food and untold amounts of excrement ended up in the harbour. Such high levels of pollution lead to dangerously low levels of oxygen in the water and greater risks of disease, contributing to large numbers of deaths within the farms. Numerous mass mortality incidents from 2015 to 2018 have been attributed to a mixture of suffocation from low oxygen, human error and disease. The largest of the three companies, Tazsal, boasts an accepted survival rate of 83% across all their farms. After 15 to 18 months in these ocean cages, when they've reached about 7 kilograms each, the salmon are sucked up through a bore tube into the harvest vessel, where they are either immediately killed or transported alive in tanks to the onshore processing facility. Barramundi are farmed in all states of Australia except Tasmania. In the colder southern states, they are raised with thousands of others in small indoor tanks. While in the northern states, they are raised either in offshore sea cages similar to salmon farms, or in outdoor pond systems used also for trout. The supposed humane method of harvesting and killing farmed fish is to suck them into icy water to freeze them to death. Far from humane, it is a slow and painful death, sometimes taking half an hour to kill. Fish killed for sashimi, a Japanese delicacy favouring freshness, are stabbed in the head before having their jugular vein cut open, and then are put back into the ice slurry to bleed out. Stores and restaurants displaying live fish allow customers intent on freshness to choose which individuals they would like killed. Three quarters of the seafood consumed in Australia is imported from other countries, of which the most significant species are prawns, salmon and tuna. Commercial fishing trawlers drag large nets through the water behind them, indiscriminately capturing all species in their wake. Around 85% of the world's fish stocks are now being fished to full capacity or are overfished. At the current rate, it is anticipated that our oceans will be void of fish by 2048.